How are you doing today? Dan Maniloff, Regional Sales Manager for Coastman. And I want to introduce you to our new Galleria product. It's a new B-Class we entered in for 2016. I think we're going to make a big splash. I'd like to take you around the coach, so if we could, let's start over here at the front. So starting off here at the front of the motorhome, what we build this on is a Mercedes 3500 extended chassis, 170 inch. What we're going to give you is 188 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. It's got enough get up and go and enough strength to pull what you need. Some of the features I want to point out, one, are directly back here. The upgraded chassis that we're using gives you a system monitoring center right behind the rear view mirror. What this kind of controls is your blind spot monitoring, collision avoidance, lane assist, and high beam assist. Some of the other things that we have on our chassis are going to be the headlight washers and the fog lamps when it gets a little bit dim. If I could now, let's continue on down to the camping side of the motorhome. Coming on to the camping side, one of the biggest advantages of our system monitoring center is actually going to be your side view mirrors. Not only do they close all the way in, when you're parking along a street or needing to get into a tight space. But this is what's going to be your eye for everything that's out there. Your blind spot monitoring, your collision avoidance, and your lane assist is all going to show up right here on the side of your rear view mirror. It's going to give you flashes of light of yellow and red. Yellow to caution you whether someone's there and red to let you know don't go over. When you're starting to drift over with the lane assist, it's even going to set off a little bit of an alarm. Coming down this way, we have custom molded fiberglass running boards, and wouldn't you know, we have an LED night light and a step light to get you up into the coach if it's too dark outside. It's going to be activated with your dome light when you open up the door. And included in all your Galleria is going to be a front and back remote control system. This is going to run your lights your awning, and everything in between. You can turn your lights on and off, and even open and close your awning. So down here we have a hatch, and underneath it's gonna be held down by magnets. That's gonna be where your propane tank's hidden. Your propane tank is gonna be hooked up to a system monitoring center inside the coach for one convenient, easy access. Coming down this way a little bit farther, all of your Galleria's are going to come with stainless steel wheel liners standard on the coach. We will have an option for aluminum rims. Down this way, the last thing that we're going to have on the coach is two external 110 hookup plugs for any kind of TV, radio, things that you need while you're out here camping. So coming around to the back of the coach, since we're built on an 11,030 pound chassis, we come standard equipped with a 5,000 pound rated hitch. It also has a 500 pound tongue weight and seven way pin connector. That way it's really easy plug and play when you're gonna be towing and driving down the road. If you notice up on top, we have our backup camera. That's gonna come standard with the unit as well. It's gonna be hooked up to the Kenwood in CD DVD player in the front to show you anything as you're backing up and you can also utilize it as a backup rear view mirror as you're going down the road. Inside the back of the coach, you have two big double doors with two different types of openings. Standard opening if we just wanna grab something quick or a 270 degree opening to get inside the coach. So if we're stopped and we're camping for the day and we want to make sure everything's set up, this is the way to go. We have full access in and out as a secondary entrance to your coach now. If you notice here, we have two different types of shades that are going to be standard equipped inside. You have a blackout nighttime shade and a daytime shade for when we just want to have a little bit of privacy and we want to let a breeze go through. Unlike most RVs that you see out there, all the screens that we have are going to come standard in tracks. What that's going to do is it's going to give you ease of opening and closing your screen without having them rattle as you're driving down the road. So if we can close these up, I'd like to take you around to the driver's side of the coach. Before we get around to talking about the driver's side, I want to talk about a few things that are on top of the coach that you can't see from down here. The first thing is your low profile 13,500 BTU 
Penguin air conditioning system. This is going to give you enough energy to cool the entire coach down on those hot summer days. The other thing I want to talk about is a 100 watt dual charging go power solar panel that we have on top of our unit. That comes standard. Not only does it charge your chassis battery, but both of your house batteries when you're in an area where you just can't plug in. So if you want to dry camp, go ahead. When you are plugged in, we run off a 30 amp service. You plug in, go to your nearest campsite, it'll power the entire coach to go. Most of the inside of this coach either runs off a 12 volt or 110 power. So we're gonna be good being plugged in with our 30 amp service. We don't need 50 amps because we only have one AC on top. Over this way, I bet you're kind of wondering what this is. Most RVs that you see on the market today are gonna to have a big plate with the word hot across it. That's gonna be where your furnace is. And that's where all the hot air is gonna come out. And we wanna put that traditionally on the driver's side because we don't want children to be around it. Well, we run off of the Truma Combi furnace and water heating system. These combine the two into one and give you one vent out the side. So like a dryer vent at your home, if you come near here while it's running, it's only going to be nice warm air. You don't have to worry about your kids playing around on the side and getting burned on a hot surface. Right below here is where we hook up all of our water. You have your city water hookup and this is also where we're going to be to fill all of your fresh water tanks. This is going to have three tanks on it of fresh water, a gray and a black tank. And then you have uh, already hooked up Thetford macerator, 12 volt and a 14 foot hose that comes off the side for your sewer dump. Utility shower over here on the side that's going to be able to clean out your hose at night. And then you also have the switch inside for your 12 volt macerator. And right over here is where your diesel fuel is going to go into. Remember, diesel only. You don't want to fill this guy up with gasoline. But what this door does is when you shut your, your gas cap, the door keeps that enclosed so nobody can mess with your, with your opening. Now if we could, I'm kind of excited. I want to really show you the inside of this coach. The first thing that you're going to see is we upgrade the Mercedes in-dash with a Kenwood touchscreen in-dash system that's going to give you navigation, hands-free telephone, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. The best part about the navigation is it's something that you might be uh, familiar with, which is Garmin navigation. Everywhere that you want to go is at the touch of a screen. Over here on the side, we have our smart steering wheel. The smart steering wheel is going to control the Kenwood in-dash as well as monitor uh, your trip, uh, your temperature gauges on your oil, and um, pretty much everything that's going on with the inside of the coach. If you want to answer a phone call, it's at the touch of a button right here. You want to turn volume up and down, touch of a button. You want to skip songs, again, touch of a button. Really easy. The three seats in the front can all turn around and face each other, so that way we have a conversation area to sit down in. So the cockpit isn't wasted space when you're done driving. A removable table will go in between us here with a Corian countertop and a quick release on there. It's not going to extend off the ground like you would see in most RVs, so if I want to throw a quick rug over there, you'd never even know it was in. The third seat works the same way. It has a quick release on it, and it's got an integrated seat belt in there as well for your passengers. So we have three belted laps in this floor plan as we're going down. If you want to take the seat out as you're going, go ahead. If it's just going to be the two of you and you can enjoy a little bit extra space, it doesn't weigh that much, go ahead and store it into the garage. Now if we can, let's go ahead and take a look at the galley over here. Coming into the galley, you'll notice the light colored Corian countertops that play off of the dark colored cabinets and the dark colored floor. And it offsets it real nice. You even have a flip up computer tray with 110 plug on the bottom. Enough for when you flip around that front, you can put your computer workstation up and you're good to go. We run off a true induction cooktop heating. We want to make this as safe and as energy efficient as possible. If anybody's familiar with induction cooktop, you have the uh, stainless steel bottom or you buy the specific pans that are for that. You turn that on and then when you take that uh, hot water away, this is going to go back to being cool very, very, very quickly. Up in this cabinet here, you're going to notice our system monitoring center. Your go power solar power panel is going to be right here and the rest of everything you need is going to be in one easy, convenient spot. Start and stop your generator. Also control all of your levels on your battery, LP, fresh black and gray tanks, 
and then power directed with the battery disconnects, your awning extension, and your lights on and off. The cabinet, if you notice, is a full radius cabinet with soft close hinges. That's right, we have upgraded cabinetry that's standard inside this coach. We use an Amish craftsman that hand builds every set that goes into a Galleria coach just for you. You have total solid wood drawers with English dovetailing and soft close hinges on all of them. They can't be slammed. There's not another B class on the market that has cabinetry as nice as this. If you notice on the inside, all the cabinets are completely finished out. We didn't put any paper products anywhere in here. So you don't have a paper, paper laminated cabinet door, uh, not anywhere inside the entire coach. He formed the inside of the cabinets to make sure that we maximize as much space as possible. And when they're closed, you're not gonna get a rattle that you would traditionally get in other RVs. Coming down this way, we have the Dometic uh, sink here European style and we use a stainless steel faucet. We didn't want to use the plastic that you would see in most of the B-classes that are on the market nowadays. So over here we also have the pop-up 110 volt and USB plugs for your convenience. They're hidden when you're not going to be using them because normally when you're driving down the road you're not going to have your coffee maker or your blender out while you're driving. But when you're parked, pull this guy up, plug him in and you're good to go. Over here is where you're going to control all the temperature in the coach as well as your Truma Combi water heater and furnace combination. This is going to run both in one easy convenient center. This is going to be one of the only coaches where you can pre-time when you want hot water ready to take a shower. So if you're going to go to bed at night and you know you're waking up at 6 a.m., time it for 6 a.m. and when you wake up there's hot water ready to go. Down this way we're using a 12 volt and one 10 volt powered refrigerator so it's going to be a lot more energy efficient in a convection style microwave. Instead of using the big bulky propane stove top and microwave or oven combination, we've given you a convection microwave standard throughout the coach. And I don't know if you've noticed throughout, but almost everything that I've been saying is standard. There's not very many options that you're going to see in here that you have to pay extra money for. What you see in a Galleria is what you're going to get. And I really want to show you what's in back. So back in a B class, one of the things people want to know is how much storage do I have? Well, let me show you. On both sides of the coach, you have built-in wooden shelf wardrobe cabinets. Now, we don't have hanging bars in here because the depth of the coach isn't going to be big enough for, say, a grown size hanger. But what we've done for that is we've given you those back here. So you can drop those down on both sides as you're traveling. If you do have some hanging clothes, it's included in there for you. Fold up everything else. Next thing that we have back here is a 24 inch LED TV that runs off a of 12 volt. Fully articulating arm so you can see from the front of the coach to the back if you wanna watch it from the cockpit area or if you just wanna lay back here in the back, take a little nap, you can do that as well. Included in there up here, is going to be your Blu-ray player. Now your Blu-ray is going to run off a of 12 volt as well. So the nice part about that is you can watch a movie as you're going down the road. Most RVs nowadays, they're both running off a of 110, so you either have to be plugged in or run your generator as you're going down the road. We don't want you to have to do that. You can take a nap, pop in a movie as somebody else is driving. And again, soft closed hinges, so you don't have to worry about doors slamming as you're driving down the road. All the way back here, you'll notice the two twin beds. These will convert into a king size sleeping area, 69 by 80. The nice part about these is we're the only ones out on the market right now that are building them with an ergo base. If anybody knows what an ergo base is, it will raise and lower to give you a different sleeping position. Open up your airways, get a little bit more comfortable as you're back here it's going to be one of the nicest things that you see in a B-Class today. And if we could, the last thing I want to show you is our wet and dry bath. So our wet and dry bath is going to be a little bit larger than your typical B-Class on the market today. Over on the right hand side you'll see the dual mirror with fully articulating arm to make sure if you got to shave inside the shower you can see what you're doing. On the faucet head there, that's going to extend all the way up and that's going to be a dual hand wash and shower faucet at the same time.
Over on the wall, you have a chrome soap dispenser that's going to hold your body wash, your shampoo, and your conditioner. And then we use a porcelain toilet inside of our wet and dry bath. And just like every single door that's in the Galleria, the bathroom doors are on soft closed hinges. So when you're done using it, you can step out and don't have to worry about it slamming shut behind you. It'll hold nice and tight with a magnet up top. Well, that's it for the interior of the Galleria. All right, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Again, I'm Dan Manoff with Coachman RV. If you guys want some more information about this, you can always visit www.generalrv.com. Or if you just can't wait and you need to talk to somebody today, dial 888-436-7578 and talk to a sales consultant today. Thanks again, guys.